Along the upper Snake River in Summit County. We are at the headwaters. You now everything moves downstream from here. Dr. Garrett Ruse next to water. He's been studying. Yeah, so what you're looking at here is a, sort of a mixing zone between an area. For nearly a decade. Came up here uh, almost 10 years ago now. Taking part in a first of its kind study here where the water flows red and blue with rocks bleached rocks, like these white ones that are colored to aluminum from aluminum. higher concentrations of rare earth elements leaching out of the rocks this has a, an abundance of metals so much so that you can see them coating the stream deck and into the water affects the study says of climate change we're receiving less snow in the mountains for drought years this further increases these uh, processes that make these concentrations even higher with concentrations of metal in this water that fish can't live in. We have habitat here that is inhospitable to aquatic organisms. But eventually flows to the Dillon Reservoir and Denver, and why Dr. Roos says this water will be studied for years to come. Water in the West, our scarcest resource. Pretty interesting study that also indicates that this issue along the Snake River is also a situation that many watersheds across the West are experiencing right now as well. And what is clear that the insect and aquatic life in the Snake River is all but non-existent because of the elevated metal counts in this water. Natasha scientists say it's unclear what those elevated metal counts will mean for people, which is why they want to keep studying this water in the years to come. Yeah, I mean, it's so troubling the fact that it's ending up in our drinking water supply. Uh, that is um, really eye opening. Matt Renew, thank you.